1995, students and teachers from South Windsor High School, along with engineers from International Fuel Cells, formed FIRST Robotics Team Number 59. Ten years and a number change later, we have grown into one of the most successful of FIRST's nearly 1,000 teams. In 1995, the playing field contained a goal area made up of three ramps and two slopes leading up to a square platform. In each match, three teams competed to put their own balls through the set of uprights on the top of the platform. 1995 was our rookie year. Our robot, the Ramp Rover, featured an innovative catapult design. This design proved to be an ineffective strategy, but we did win an award for Best Alternative Scoring Method at the New Hampshire Regional. In 1996, teams had to pick up large and small balls from the playing field and from on top of the goal, which they then scored in the goal. The human players, who were seat belted down at their stations, could also score points by throwing small balls from their stations into the goal. In 1996, we took our robot, the Hexorcist, to the New England Regional and the National Competition. Despite drive problems, we seated 17th at the New England Regional and made it to the quarterfinals. The drive problems continued at the national competition where we seated 21st. In 1997, teams scored points by placing inner tubes on pegs on or around the top of a central goal. The higher up on the goal a tube was placed, the more points it was worth. At the New Hampshire Regional, we were undefeated in our five seating matches, seating second. Unfortunately, we ran into technical problems during the elimination rounds. We went to the national competition armed with a secret weapon, the Triple Claw, which allowed us to hold three tubes at once. We earned the 14th seed out of over 100 teams, but we were eliminated in the quarterfinals. In 1998, the playing field contained an 8-foot tall central goal, out of which three horizontal rail goals extended. Each ball placed on the rail goal scored points, and each ball in the center goal doubled your team's score. Balls could be put into the goal by either the robots or the human players. In 1998, we unveiled the Bobcat. At the New Hampshire Regional, we made it to the finals, finishing third. This performance was topped only by our seeding rounds at the national competition, where we seeded number one out of 166 teams finishing 12th overall and winning the Motorola Quality Award. In 1999, FIRST changed from its one-on-one-on-one -on -one -on -one format to a two-on-two -two format. The playing field also changed from a hexagon to a rectangle. There was also a mobile puck that started each match in the middle of the field. Alliances scored points by raising floppies above the field. Multipliers were awarded at the end of the match for being on top of the puck and for the location of the puck. In 1999, we attended two regionals, the New England Regional and the Philadelphia Regional. At both, we seeded in the top eight but lost in the quarterfinals. At the Philadelphia Regional, we also won the Xerox Creativity Award. We then went on to the national competition where we seeded 14th out of over 200 teams, but we lost in the first elimination round. We were also awarded the Delphi Power to Simplify Award. In 2000, there were two six-foot-high goals located in the middle of the playing field, one goal for each alliance. 
A five foot high bar ran between the goals and under it was an eight foot wide ramp. Teams scored points by putting balls in the goals and either ending the match on the ramp, hanging from the bar, or being supported by their partner robot. We attended both the New England Regional and the National competition. At each competition, we were picked for the elimination rounds, but lost in the quarterfinals. In 2001, first went to a 4 on 0 format, with all four robots on the field working together. The playing field was divided in half by an 18 inch high railing with a central bridge which could tilt to either side of the field or remain level. Two 7 foot high mobile goals began each match on opposite sides of the field. Teams received points for scoring small balls in the goals, capping the goals with large balls, and ending the match in the end zone on the opposite side of the field. Balls could be picked up off the field or shot into the goals by human players. Robots could reach the end zone under their own power or on a stretcher pulled by another robot. Teams also scored multipliers for having one or both of the goals balanced on the bridge and for ending the match before the two minute time limit was up. In 2001 we unveiled the Bobcat 2001, our most responsive and reliable machine yet. We were in the winning alliance at the New England Regional, where we also won the General Motors Industrial Design Award. At the national competition, we won our division and made it to the quarterfinals, finishing in fourth place out of over 500 teams. In 2002, first returned to a two-on-two -two format. The field was divided into five scoring zones with three five-foot-high mobile goals starting each match in the middle zone. Scores were calculated at the end of the match based on the number of balls in the goals and the positions of the goals and the robots on the field. Robots only scored points for being in the far zones. Goals in the middle zone scored points for the goal and the balls in the goal, and goals in the far zones only scored points for the balls in the goal. In 2002, our robot was informally known as the Mini Fridge, though it just barely fit within first size and weight limits. We got mixed results with our matches at the New England Regional, where we seated 40th out of 63 teams. Our team spirits rose when we won our first four matches at the national competition, but after that we had an unfortunate losing streak and we seated 14th at our division. In 2003, first introduced an autonomous mode during the first 15 seconds of the match in which the robots operated independent of human control. During this time, teams tried to knock down bins from the top of a ramp in the center of the field onto their side of the field. Teams scored points for ending the match with their robot on the top of the ramp and for the bins on their side of the field, receiving a multiplier for stacked bins. Each team's human player had four bins that they could place in their team scoring zone during a 10 second period before the match began. We suffered various technical problems at the New England region. Although we resolved most of them, we only seeded 18. We were chosen to compete in the elimination rounds and made it all the way to the finals. In 2003, the national competition moved from Epcot to Reliant Park in Houston, Texas. We attended the competition, but aside from some notable plays, we did not compete very well. In 2004, first made the human player a key part of the game. The human players received balls from the robots on the playing field and shot them into either an 8 foot high stationary goal or a 6 foot high mobile goal. If a goal was capped by a large ball, each ball in it was worth twice as many points. Points were also awarded for robots hanging on the 10 foot high chin up bar in the center of the field at the end of the match. If a robot was able to knock a ball off of its alliance's tee during the 15 second autonomous mode at the beginning of the match, it released their 18 small balls from the ball dump. Otherwise, their balls would be released 30 seconds after the end of the autonomous mode. We attended three competitions in 2004, the New England Regional, the Philadelphia Regional, and the National Competition, which had been moved again from Houston, Texas to Atlanta, Georgia. 
At the New England Regional, we had an arm that made us very top-heavy, so we wound up spending a lot of time on our back. After a few matches, we took it off, but we still ended in 31st place. We were picked for the elimination rounds, but our alliance was knocked out in the quarterfinals. We left the arm off for the Philadelphia Regional and ended up seeding 5th. We led our alliance to the championship, facing the 1st and 3rd seeded alliances along the way. At the national competition, we finished 9th in our division, only losing one match. We got the chance to lead an alliance when two of the top 8 teams were picked by other top 8 teams. We led our alliance to the division finals where we lost due to mechanical problems.